Imagine this. You're standing on a planet so alien yet strangely familiar. Its gravity pulls at your body twice as hard as Earth's, making every step feel like you're carrying invisible weights. Or maybe you're floating through the upper atmosphere of a mysterious gas giant, surrounded by swirling neon clouds that light up the sky like nothing you've ever seen before. These aren't scenes from science fiction. They could be real places waiting for us out there among the stars. Welcome to the fascinating worlds of super-Earths and mini-Neptunes. These strange and exotic planets are unlike anything in our solar system, and they might just hold the key to answering one of humanity's biggest questions. Is there life beyond Earth? What are super-Earths and mini-Neptunes? So what exactly are super-Earths and mini-Neptunes? Let's break it down. A super-Earth is basically a beefed-up version of our home planet. Think bigger, heavier, and possibly more extreme. These planets typically have masses ranging from about 1.5 to 10 times that of Earth. Some may look like scaled-up versions of Earth, complete with continents, oceans, and even volcanoes. Others might resemble hellish landscapes straight out of Dante's Inferno. On the other hand, many Neptunes are something else entirely. Picture a smaller cousin of Neptune or Uranus planets made mostly of gas but much closer to their parent star than the ice giants in our solar system. They often have thick atmospheres filled with hydrogen and helium and some scientists believe they might have layers of water or ice deep beneath those clouds. But here's the kicker. Both types of planets exist in abundance throughout the galaxy. In fact, astronomers estimate that super-Earths and mini Neptunes are some of the most common kinds of planets out there. So naturally, the next question becomes, could any of them support life? The ingredients for habitability. To figure out if these planets could be habitable, we need to understand what makes a planet just right. On Earth, life thrives because of a few key factors liquid water, a stable atmosphere, and temperatures that don't swing too wildly between scorching heat and freezing cold. Now let's apply these criteria to super-Earths and mini-Neptunes. For starters, many super-Earths are located in the so-called habitable zone, the region around a star where conditions allow liquid water to exist. That sounds promising, right? But size matters. Because these planets are larger than Earth, they tend to have stronger gravitational pulls, which means they can hang on to thicker atmospheres. And while a thick atmosphere could trap heat and keep water liquid, it could also create crushing pressures or runaway greenhouse effects. As for mini Neptunes, things get trickier. Their thick hydrogen-rich atmospheres make them less likely candidates for traditional forms of life. However, recent studies suggest that some mini Neptunes might actually lose their outer layers over time due to intense stellar radiation, leaving behind a smaller, potentially rocky core. Scientists call these stripped-down remnants habitable evaporated cores, and they could offer a glimmer of hope for finding life. Challenges and mysteries. Of course, not everything is sunshine and rainbows when it comes to these alien worlds. One major challenge is understanding their atmospheres. Without direct observations, we can only guess what gases surround these planets. Too much carbon dioxide could turn them into Venus-like hothouses. Too little oxygen would rule out complex life as we know it. And then there's the issue of plate tectonics or lack thereof. On Earth, Moving plates help regulate the climate and recycle nutrients essential for life. Larger planets like super-Earths might experience more intense geological activity, which could either stabilize their climates or lead to catastrophic volcanic eruptions. Another mystery lies beneath the surface. Could mini Neptunes harbor hidden oceans under all that gas? If so, these subsurface waters might provide refuge for microbial life shielded from harsh radiation above. It's a tantalizing possibility, but proving it will require technology far beyond what we currently possess. Why should we care? At this point, you might be wondering why we should care about planets hundreds or thousands of light years away. After all, we've got plenty of problems right here on Earth. But searching for life elsewhere isn't just about satisfying our curiosity, it's about expanding our perspective. Discovering life beyond our planet would fundamentally change how we view ourselves and our place in the universe. Plus, studying super-Earths and mini-Neptunes teaches us valuable lessons about planetary formation and evolution. By understanding how these worlds came to be, we gain insights into the processes that shaped our own solar system, and perhaps even clues about how life arose here in the first place. The future of exploration. So where do we go from here? Thanks to cutting-edge missions like NASA's James Webb Space Telescope and the upcoming European Extremely Large Telescope, we're getting closer to unraveling the secrets of these enigmatic worlds. These instruments will allow us to analyze the atmospheres of exoplanets in unprecedented detail, searching for signs of water vapor, oxygen, methane, and other potential biosignatures. In the longer term, concepts like interstellar probes and generation ships might one day take us to these distant realms. 
Until then, we'll continue to explore them remotely, piecing together the puzzle of whether super-Earths and mini-Neptunes could truly be habitable. The search for habitable worlds is a journey full of wonder and uncertainty. Whether we find life on a super-Earth, a mini-Neptune, or somewhere else entirely, each discovery brings us one step closer to answering the ultimate question, are we alone? Until then, the stars remain a canvas of endless possibilities, waiting for us to paint our story upon them. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us on this cosmic adventure.